let's just say that you weren't as lucky as as I have been in this install and you run into some problems well most likely what's going to happen is that your LED here if you get to this stage is going to stay yellow possibly even red to show that there's some issue with the software and it's not communicating properly with your device normally what the cause is is to be found in once again the device manager an alternate way to get there is to go to my computer and right click get properties and get your device manager from the top here so back in device manager I won't be able to reproduce this because everything's working correctly but you will have a warning flag here and normally that's caused by other USB devices that you've put in that have assigned a number of COM ports already. The R drivers need to be within the range of the first 16 COM ports, so any port that's available between 1 and 16. So oftentimes, if you've used a lot of different devices on your computer, you might have used up those ports and you need to shift something around. You need to change the port. Um, or you may just need to troubleshoot the port in general to, to find another port that's working properly. Uh, the first thing you really want to try to do is go into another USB connector. If you have multiple USB connectors on your computer, then you'll want to swap between connectors because sometimes a device has attached to a particular connector and with buggy software or whatever the case may be is locked down that particular uh, USB connector. So try and swap your connectors around see if that clears up the problem here with the warning and if not let's manually switch our ports around so we would go to advanced and we would choose another port from the list keeping in mind that you have to go between 1 and 16 so you would choose another port until you got it to uh, recognize properly and the arrow or the warning flag was removed once you find the proper port you'll want to make note of that know which port it is and address that in the software. In most all instances that's the case with problems that are coming in installing the editor. If you have further questions please address them to Andy um, on the MindPlay support forum. Just post a thread or search through some of the other forum threads to see if your question can be answered and uh, address it to one of the MindPlace staff and we'll be more than happy to help you but hopefully your install goes as trouble free as this one has been.